Legend of Total War here with part 2 of my Rome Total War Alexander Let's Play campaign as as Macedon. Alright, so previously conquered a few settlements and it's time to of course do the monumental task of uh, establish Alexander's empire. Alright, so I've got a spy here, I want to send him to have a look around. That is a lot of troops. Well, this isn't a blitz campaign, well, sort of is. But that is, that is a lot of troops. But still, what do we do about that? We can't just, we can't just bypass them either. You've got to go, th you've got to kill them. Because the thing about the Persians is that once you've killed their, the armies that they start off with, they really can't raise anymore because they go so bankrupt early on. When we played as the Persians, I had to disband half the goddamn armies just to, just to break even. Because they don't make any money. And our finances are bad, so I need more settlements because we've only got we've only got six. We're not making a lot of money, and with that under siege, we could be losing Byzantium soon. Now, Sinop, Sinop is not well defended. It's not. So let's send a small force to go and capture that. And I don't need everyone to stay close together. So how about you go and deal with that? Under siege, so many mercenaries here. Yeah, you can have the mercenary hoplites. A little bit expensive for what they are, but that's fine. Alright, then we'll need to kill these guys here. So let's see, we've already got a half stack here, so let's let's attach the units we want. My lord, my lord, sir, my lord, yep, that's ten. Attach them here and then make the attack. Now, the biggest threat, I think, in the Persian army is their archers. Because on this difficulty, they get a, a very large bonus to their, to their missile attack. And since they've got a lot of ammo, you really just can't sit there and shoot. And the problem with pike armies is that they're, they're defensive. You've got to just sit there and attack. You cannot just charge in there. Because the thing is, the skirmish troops will run back. And... Things get very messy with pikes. Pikes are extremely rigid. They're better off, in my opinion, in a, just a solid line and just try and hold the line. And when it comes down to it, I'm really not the best at dealing with pikes because, in my opinion, cavalry is just the way to go. But the problem is, this is what we started off with. I need to make do with what we've got. Don't have time to be like, oh, well, I haven't got the perfect army. Well, I'll just won't do anything then. No, we have to, well, we only get 100 turns. We've got to make the most of it. Right, what I'd like to do, they usually have their general right up, up front. If we could go and charge in and kill him, that'd make a big difference, I think. Okay, here. Yeah. They've got some Persian infantry there. Do they have any experience? Because that's the only thing I'd be worried about. No experience. They don't have very good morale, so you can you can break them. Even though they are spearmen. I mean the unit type really doesn't matter when they've when they've routed. Okay, good. He's coming in like a moron. What a fucking idiot. Okay, here we go. And then charge properly, but that's okay. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Got it, good. Great God be praised. Hang on, we got enemy, got enemy cavalry coming around the flanks here. Fear makes a home in our enemies' hearts. Okay, get get away, get away from that. Get over here, get rid of these cavalry. Don't worry about their, their front line. We'll go around the army instead. That's exactly what they're doing as well. Getting stuck. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. It's okay, we got him out. We cannot risk Alexander. It's it's this is one of the only Total War games where you lose if you lose your, your king. Okay, so they're they're coming in hammer on this. That's fine. They're not going to do anything against their pikes. Ah, oh, fucking 
missile cap. Alright. Go wide, charge into them. With them winded, that'll provide extra morale penalties on them. They are just ultra aggressive. Which is the point of stupidity. Do not charge in. Alexander. Good, good, good. Get a, get a rolling route going in over here. Just forget about them. No, do not skirmish mode. If you get if they get too close to you, they get too close. Don't worry about it. Come on, you're gonna break this one over here? Yep, good. I gotta get over here and stop this. They've got units out of rear. Get over here, get rid of these guys. Sorry. You, you take on the bodyguards and take on the mighty archers there. them there for the time being. Hold the line. No, 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 get back, get back. Okay, I'm gonna move them individually. Okay, looks like they're getting the fuck out of here. I think that went really well though. What did we lose? 5%. That's really good. start on this war. What are they doing? Uh, oh, they've, they've charged into, the, into spearmen here, so they're not going to do that well, but they're, they're going to try and get away. Okay, we're going to get 85%. Right, don't run them off that way. How close are we to 85%? We need 15% more. Should be enough infantry left on the battlefield for us to do that. Good to send guys to go run them down. So now up to 7%, but that's okay, turn around. So they're coming back, I don't think they'll do heaps. Good, it's the death. Okay, there's not much we can do to like catch them. Get their infantry. 85% good, so all we need to do now is win. But it's okay, but the general's bodyguard, they'll recover him from the end turn, so it's fine. Yeah, just end it. God be praised. This good, more than 10 to 1 kill ratio there. Very good. Victory! Well, that went probably a lot better than I expected. Yes, I'm just wondering... I don't think we're going to be able to make it to Isis. At least the infantry might not be able to make it. And even then, they'll just they'll dogpile us. When we're better off on the attack. What can you retrain? And that being said, we've got no money. We've got more troops over here. Yes, Stratigos. I used to bring them in, but I'm just concerned about, like, over the end turn, just getting dogpiled by way too many armies. Okay, well, while we're having to think about that, let's send these guys in there. Let's clear them away. Get ourselves a new general. Good. Bring him down here. Now, we can retrain our hikes with the hoplites here. So I'll take My all of Lord. these, actually I might be able to use the movement bug on the, these guys. My Lord. If I put that, on, let me just see, yes. there. Sir, move out. Take everything Lord. of yes. these out. And then I want to bring them over here to try and stop the Scythians. Yep, good. Moves depleted, sir. 
Move out! Out of move, Sam! So these guys can be retrained here this turn. Okay, there goes a lot of our money already. If I want more money, I can cancel that. But I don't know, I want to fix it up. And I cannot retrain them, but I wanted to use them to sort of... Um, Bring these. I can bring these guys over here with the movement bug. I'm just not sure if I should go after this. It's sort of like, yes, we can beat it, but in the grand strategy point of view, um, what happens if we get dogpiled by these two armies during the end turn? Like, it's too much to handle. What if we just fucking go for a ball to the wall? Fucking just do it. Yeah, fuck it. You only live once, YOLO, bitch. Oh, look at this. It's a draw-out opportunity. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't think they'd run away. So if we wipe out that army and kill him, we take the city. Oh, how good's that? See, they couldn't get in there because it's a full stack. How perfect's that? Alright, fuck it. Let's do this. So... Yeah, we absolutely must wipe this army out. Because if we can take Isis, then we can start to replenish our units. And if we've got the settlement, and they besiege it, for example, well, the, we've got pikes. Pikes are, like, perfect for, for sieges. They'll, they'll never get inside. Now trouble begins. We did not seek war, but we are facing battle, and we will not stop until our dead foes fill the field. <laughs> Yeah, okay, cool. Now, we have to keep in mind that the, the unit that we're... The, the general's bodyguard that we'll have to kill is, is likely going to be a uh, chariot. And they're annoying to kill without archers, because we don't have any archers. But um, we will do what we have to do. Okay, so stone that. That worked well for us last time. I think what we need to do is actually go wider. Make it harder for them to flank, flank us, because they just got around our flank too easily last time. Now, are they going to put their general at risk, just like the previous guy did, right at the start? Because that worked out very nicely for us. The enemy have brought up more men. Yes, they are. They're going to risk him. Okay, what we need to do actually is go wider, because you want to wrap around him so you can get him. Get in there. The gods have filled the, the enemy general. Fucking guy. Well, we got him anyway. The gods be praised. The enemy general is dead. Right, punch dead right through. Punch right through. Go, go, go. Approaches. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work. Back off. Back off. We got their enemy cavalry harassing, harassing this flank over here. Just get him back behind the line. Too many spearmen here. Kill the enemy general, that's great and everything, but let's not risk the whole battle. Get him. There's more archers in this army than there was in the previous one. Okay, we don't want to go too far out this way because of them as well, but we've got to get rid of these archers. Job on the cavalry there, because we absolutely have to kill 85% of them on this battle. Fuck, he's getting. That's well, not too bad. I'll put them on fire at will, but I don't want them moving. Take out the, the archers and belters, they're, they're more dangerous than the, the cavalry there. Even turning them around is not a good idea, because then just make them, make them vulnerable on the flank. Out in the front, I mean. Got to try and kill him as early as possible before they decide to run away. He's 
these ghosts are going to break? Probably not, so back off. Oh, they did break? Okay. Get up this way. Gotta kill him. Yeah, we're taking some damage from their archers. Like I said, if we can take the settlement this turn, it's going to be worth it, even by losing 50% more casualties. Getting access to that settlement. Man, but we are really taking some heavy casualties. Let's get in there. Don't let them get away. Gotta send someone in here to kill this. It's crucial, man. Don't worry about that. We've got to run them down. Like I said, we have to get 85%. It's important that we stick together. Okay, we're presenting ourselves in such a way here that we could probably chase after him in a moment. Send everyone except for generals in to go kill the Persian general's bodyguard. And have Alexander stand nearby. Actually, you put this down. Alexander's on standby over here, just in case the guy gets away. And also to make sure they don't, they don't, get, they don't get too scared. Make sure you kill him in this fight as well. Alexander needs to stay close by, make sure my guys don't break. Because they're, they're not super high morale units. My light cavalry. Yes, we got it. Okay, good. God be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! Oh, look at my infantry. But that's okay. It's okay, we're gonna take Isis. Sure to get 85% now. I mean, most of the forces left on the battlefield here are the infantry. It means they're easy to run down. Yeah, just let that guy go away. Ah, no, 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 not you. I don't care if he dies, but Alexander must not die. Okay, percentage wise, what are you looking at here? 67%. Good. Okay, the Immortals here, they're not breaking. Back off. Oh man, we took an absolute beating with, with, with this, but still, we're going to get that settlement. We're going to exterminate the population. What the fuck are you doing? And we're going to make a lot of money. So, so. so how'd we go? We've lost 30% of our forces. It's a lot. And like I said, it's it was we probably could have won this battle in such a way that we would have taken less casualties, but the enemy generals might have gotten away in the process if we had concentrated more on their their, their troops that were actually fighting us rather than command troops, because we've seen that these guys would run away at the first sign of danger, which we couldn't happen, couldn't have happened, because we might be able to catch them. It's also important that we wipe them out. Battles God won. be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee! Now, one of the biggest concerns I've got is the fact that the the cavalry build, the elite, uh, the elite cavalry stables, is damaged in Isis, so we're going to have to repair it. 
probably before we can make use of it, which really sucks because it would be so good if we could just retrain all of these cavalry over the end turn. Because they took a lot of damage. Like, I don't give a fuck about the infantry, they don't matter. We could do this whole campaign, switch these guys out and give me some good companion cavalry, or even just light cavalry instead, and I'll be happy with that. Alright. Yeah, we got to 94%, so we definitely made sure we killed them all. This is a big so we lost about 800 men. A little bit less than that, because we got, um, got some recovery. Doesn't look like any unit got completely wiped out. Maybe maybe the Phalangus, this one here, probably did. That's fine, we just, just merge it, and then hire some more. Maybe. Okay, so we can get in there with everyone. And have everyone sitting inside the settlement. Alright, you have to do that. Alright, that was a stroke of fortune there. Now, oh, you've got to be shitting me. The settlement's so badly damaged we can't do shit. Alright, but if we were to repair the elite cavalry stables, we'd have access to allied cavalry. Oh, I was hoping for companion cav. And is it, wasn't it some mercenaries out here? Uh, let me just think. My lord. So what I'm going to do here. You go around here, I want to want sight on what's going on. So, it's good that we've got the settlement, that's for sure. Financially, are we actually making a profit now? Yes, we are. Good. Good, and they can't get over here to bother him. I guess I... Hang on. I guess I could get these guys. My lord. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so the barracks I can't even retrain the high pass bists. Oh, that's right. One of the phalanges got wiped out. Um, because they're they're really good pikemen. Of course, we want to recruit something. I don't think. What about a boat that we could just like go from here to there, make our way down to Tyre. But of course, they're going to besiege us during the end turn. There's no doubt about that. The companion cavalry here can't be merged. I mean, they can't be retrained is what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, definitely don't care about that building. Repair this. Repair that. Destroy that. And we'll build Zeus. Kind of disappointed about what what our options are here. Okay, we've got enough money to repair that. My lord. We need to stay inside the settlement during the end turn. Move out. Yeah, there are companion cavalry out here. Okay. All right, I'll grab that because we made enough money because of that. Mercenary hoplites. Nah, don't worry about that. Oh, they're not going to fit now. Um, we can retrain the javelin men, can't we? Yeah. So. My lord. <laughs> um, keep that because I might be able to put him in a fort, just to like block something yes, later down the track. Boss. So just um, to stay at. I'll use it as a scout. Just come out here, and we'll, we'll see what Move we can out. do with it. Move out. No more moves. If we recruit another unit, it's going to come outside the settlement. So let's merge. No, we can we can retrain the Allied cavalry later, though. Just disband him. Or else someone's going to be hanging outside, and I'd rather come out and deal with a sally out battle than than fight another battle out in the field. 
So it'll be next turn that we can retrain the cavalry, which is a bit disappointing. I'll have to leave uh, like some sort of trail for them to to catch up on. All right, so. Yes, All right, if we want to bring these guys in. My lord. Yes, Stratigos. Which I do. Move out. Where are we going to put them? He might actually be useful up here. My lord. To join his forces. Mars moves depleted, sir. Move okay, out. Because so next time they can no join up with him, moves. then he'll have more than a sufficient army to take that on. Okay, now here we're going to need. I'm going to need reinforcements, so just recruit some high pacifists and then spam some peasants just to make sure the public order is maintained. Then. Building of Zeus, yeah, it's starting to run low on cash again. Auxiliary Thracian cavalry, I really don't like Jav Cav. But they're cheap as shit, man, they're really fucking cheap. Alright, well then we'll get one. Yes, Stratigos. Yes, Master. My lord, sir, orders. Okay, what else are we doing here? I wonder if instead we should build paved roads. Now we'll be out of here in three turns, it doesn't make any difference. Yeah, and then need to retrain these. I'm not sure if maybe I should have gotten a, um, a what's it called, a boat. Because if they're standing on that river crossing next turn, that's going to make things more difficult. Yeah, you know what? The tactical advantage, the strategic advantage a single ship could provide us far outweighs having more of troops. Okay, I think that's all we can do for the turn. Let's move on. So financially, yeah, we'll have a bit of cash. You've made, yep, okay. Let's move on. Forgot about them. All right, so they didn't they didn't besiege Isis, which is good, I guess. But is this guy going to be able to deal with the forces at Sinope? I mean, to deal with these? No, not not in the slightest. However, we could send Alexander back to go and kill him. There's barely anything defending Tyre. They're the most advanced faction. He's actually made a huge mistake here. He's coming to the lion's den with no way to retreat. Um, oh man, I really wish I could retrain these guys right now. Definitely don't. T oh, fuck. I don't have sufficient forces to take him on. Well, I mean, we've got these new companion cavalry, and they're certainly really good. Alright, let's have a look around. They're, they're gonna lose settlement soon. Alright, well, I've got that to do. If you're sitting in Sinope with these, they will not get inside the settlement. The, they will, the pikes will not let them get through. So I could leave some units behind in Sinop just to protect it, if it if it comes under attack, which it it's hard to predict that kind of shit. Yes, okay, that fort's gone. Don't bother building a watchtower. So, what is... Sir. You could spam another general by killing them. That would be pretty easy actually. Just trying to think how to get these guys over there. 
Probably by using this guy would help. Alright, let's, let's yes. not worry about that. Let's send this guy in to attack here. Prepare for battle. Oh, damn it. Victory and honor. If I sent them out to attack with this, would we win? Because if I... Hang on. Let's just do this first and then I'll, I'll think about that later. This shouldn't be too difficult. Although we don't have any missile units. Neither do they. Let's do this. So the enemy lost two full stacks and one settlement last turn. And look! This is a um, fine day for I'll battle. have to have a look at the um, the faction rank to see just how badly damaged they actually became. Reorganize this. Alright, since we've only got one of these ramps, let's put it in a spot where it's going to be easier for my plugs to get through. So that's not the gate. It's going to be. Oh shit. Who's shooting us? Oh, right, 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 right. Loose formation. Yeah, they'll run out of ammo. Who cares if they kill Agriani and Javelin, man? I don't give a shit. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they must batter a way through. The walls are breached, and the way into the city is open for our soldiers. So you get attack. a few volleys in there, that would be good. Before you die, completely get back on. Send the general out here, I'm fine with that. I wonder if we should be in loose formation. So, yeah, I forgot to consider these guys as actual missile units. They don't have enough ammunition to wipe us out. Then again, is that really what we should be aiming for? Not to get wiped out? Okay, well, let's go to go back on the ramp because I want more breaches. Should be able to retrain the regular hoplites in the settlement, no problem. But the the phalangists, yeah, that's not going to happen. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they must batter a way through. The gods have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. Our troops should be ordered forward. Patient here, these mercenary ones. Yeah, they can't be retrained. Shit. This formation then. Get in there. Once he's run out of ammunition, they're gonna be a hell of a lot less of a threat. Stay put there, you got the pikes out. The walls are taken! Well. Okay, you guys come in through here. The enemy 
general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it is beyond belief. Move out. Bring it. Move out. Hey, You guys need to hurry up and get over here or else he's gonna rout. You get in here. Them there. Took a few casualties, but nothing major. Okay. Time to get back in formation. Okay, I'm not concerned about them. Oh, they've, they've got javelins as well. So keep the pikes down. Long. Next, you get in here. We need to take this guy out of combat so that he can actually be retrained during the end turn. Let's keep going forward. Okay, more guys in. many of them left, we just gotta move slowly. That's the thing about the pikes, they, they really can't just rush in and kill stuff. And they're good killers if the enemy come to them. Could probably do this just with this guy now. Actually he's shaking so good here. have filled the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. Forward, waiting for orders. March. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Move out. This is a okay. Well, kill wise, about two to one kill ratio, which is pretty good considering we didn't use any cavalry. Because the only thing I care about is the cave. And I think they'll need to be exterminated. Leaves us with a low population, but... I don't know. I'm, I don't intend to be using this as a recruiting settlement. I'll just retrain whatever's available and then keep going. So now that we've got that settlement, it's, it's just a little bit of extra income per turn. We absolutely cannot just be like, let's just leave Darius behind. We could, couldn't we? Like if we just left a couple of pikes in every settlement, they would struggle so hard to take their settlements back. And we just keep moving forward. I'd eventually just keep recapturing them, I think. Because they've got no money, they can't. 
It can't do much with it. Just like, just don't attack him. The problem here, though, is that this settlement here, we have to hold on to this for one more turn because of, um... Because of the, um, the units that need to be retrained. Doesn't mean we have to stay here. All of us, but some of us do need to stay there. Plus, I really would like to kill Darius. The army's just not in good shape. Now, these guys here, um, we only really need like a few pike units to really defend against a full stack. I think. But two full stacks, I mean, hmm, really gotta think hard about how we're gonna do this. Cause the thing is, hmm, I wanna send, I wanna come down here and take this. It's, Can you come have a look at what they've got? There's another fucking army down this way as well. Jesus Christ. It's not that large, but still. It is large. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You come and stand right here. We need to block this off. I just don't, don't want to be dealing with that guy this turn. If you can't construct watchtail uh, forts in this, can you? Shit, I didn't know that. Oh, yes, you can. Must have been stuck in the wrong unit. Okay, just leave him in there. We will go out here and fight them. So, which ones can be retrained? So, just allied cavalry. Let me just see which ones. There's four units in here that can be retrained. This one, this one, this one, and that one. No, no one else can be retrained, so we can use these in combat, and that's fine, because they're not going to be retrained. Um, and we'll recruit some more. Which one's better, Allied Cavalry or these? Because they're light, but they're... Light Cavalry is probably better. Their stats are better, though. So yeah, we'll go with Allied Cavalry. But then again, the Auxiliary Thracian Cavalry much cheaper, but, like I said, I don't like them as much. So we've got here some hypaspists, or whatever the fuck they're called. Legend tongue twisted words. Um, keep sending auxiliary cavalry from there over. Yes, Maybe just stay there. If they were to attack, we'd beat them. Because we've got reinforcements coming in now. And I need these guys to, to get over here. I want you to stand there. Leaving the army. Forward. Prepare to ambush. Some good shit in here. Sir. Yes, Stratigos. Okay, stand right there. Yes, you Stratigos. stand here. Then you sir. stand here. March. No more moves, sir. Oh shit. Um stand there. If I attacked him, he'd probably just withdraw now. Maybe not. With all the guys that are here, could we win? The big problem is going to be that general and the fact that our army is going to be scattered. But if we win, we'll probably get another general. The thing is, do we really need him here? We'll, we'll be able to get them to the front lines eventually. We've got to take out Scythia. Well, no, let's not do that because we're not going to gain any extra movement by doing that because we're still going to have to wait for him for yes, next turn. If he wants to make the attack, let him. He has to go up against massive forces. Next turn, he can attach himself to this up. Well, then again... Oh, shit, what was that? Oh, nothing. Um, can't recruit from this settlement this turn, but that, that's okay. It's not a big deal. It's not going to fall, no. So, taking on... Darius, how are we going to go about it? Well, let's start getting organized, because we're going to have a smaller force than him, that's for sure. Forward. 
So don't take any of the cavalry that that needs to be retrained. Then we don't have a lot of pikes. Yeah, what are you got in here? Yeah, I'll take that. And it's a near full stack, but it's not enough to take on both of these. Well, actually, we could hit this guy, hit Darius, if we win there, I should say when we win, then we come up here, and then send reinforcements, and we've got the pincers. It's probably not a good idea. Alright, let's have a look at how the, um, the Persian military ranking is. All the units that we've killed so far, it's really only about 25% of their forces. So looking at their finances... I mean, they're, they're broke as shit. Also, we can send in this unit as well to come and help. Not a lot it's going to be able to do. It should stand there. I'll recruit another one. Yes, Alright, Alexander, you're outnumbered, but that's okay, let's just do this. Attack. Still, it's one to one ratio. We don't have as much cavalry this time. Well, we kind of do. So, Darius is an incompetent defender, so his command is. He's, he's got nothing. So, what's he got? He's got a load of archers, this is why we need lots of cavalry. He's got some pretty good cavalry himself. He doesn't have a lot of spearmen. So I need more cavalry to take this out. But whatever, let's just do this. Our foes are gathering, and it would be ill-mannered to keep them waiting. They seem so eager to face our lines, so eager to test themselves. So with the pikes, just reorganize this. We are certainly going to need to go in loose formation. Most of this army is, is just freaking archers. So we just need to make sure that um, they don't totally fuck us up. Uh, we can't just go straight for his general on this one because it's because they're chariots. All right, we'll just see how we go. Your reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> I this kind of expected them to get totally fucked. The thing is, if they get, I could always retrain them somewhere. Okay, here we go. So they're coming for us. They're going bananas and just going straight for us. I'd love to be able to kill him straight away. He'd probably be around here somewhere. Is that him there? No. But if we if we don't get him, what are they doing? Sacrificing a lot of their cavalry just right off the bat there. No, 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 do not skirmish mode. Don't do it. Okay, cavalry, here's what we're doing. Let's roll up this flank here, get rid of their, their Mardian archers. Oh, shit. That's not good. Come on, take him down. Take him out. Oh, mercenary hoplites, I should have known. take out their missiles. It doesn't really matter that much if we don't kill Darius on this particular battle. It's more important about his army. He, he himself is a terrible general. It doesn't really matter if we don't kill him. Okay, that's one load of Marty and Archer's gone. Our guys over here are performing pretty well. 
I don't care about the Agriani and Javelin then either. Putting them on skirmish mode just means nothing. Now, they're, they're wrecking us on this flank, but we've absolutely destroyed them far worse on this flank here. And because Darius has absolutely no command, look at him, we're just rolling them up like carpet. Anyway, like I said before, I'm only really concerned about keeping my cavalry alive. If an infantry died, fuck it, I don't need them that much. If I have a full stack of cap, I'll be fine. These guys aren't firing at will, I thought I'd put them on that. Okay, send you to keep running them down with the rest of us. We need to take a risk here and go after Darius. We'll just, whatever, just charge into this flank here, out this way. We really need to probably keep Alexander in the, re in the reserves of this. So though he's got a lot of hit points, he can lose all of that in one go against Sarge and Chariots. Look, they've sent them straight into combat. Go, go, go. Get him over here. Your leader has fallen before his enemies. No, he hasn't. Now it's this guy here. True quality of his soldiers. Alexander's alive. I promise you that. Yes, yeah, he's fine. It's this guy here that's been taking the damage. King runs from the battle. Will his men follow, or have they more backbone? Take him out, take him out. Something that Alexander didn't actually manage to do historically is kill Darius. Darius was betrayed, I think, by his own men. Get him, get him, get him! The enemy king has been killed! This will surely make his followers waver! Your leader is fleeing from the enemy. He's this talking about this one here. All your followers. Okay, did we kill 85% of them? There's a little bit of a rundown needs to happen. So how'd we go? We lost a lot of troops, but it was a lot of like garbage troops. Especially these guys here, absolute pure trash. And it was kind of good that these guys here distracted quite a lot of the enemy troops. Cavalry's all over the place, and so is the enemy army, so it's hard to find exactly where we need to go to run these fuckers down. Our cavalry barely took any damage on this battle, so that's really good. Wipe them out completely. 85% gone. This is a, heroic victory. a lot of damage, but. I mean, mo it was mostly Agriani and Javelin men and all that other trash. So. They're dead. But the Persian Empire continues. Now the question is, do we go and hit this? I think we should just finish it off. Alright, so yeah, the Agrianian. Send them hang, can they be retrained here? Yeah, send send them back for retraining. Don't don't bother about them. My lord They'll need to be retrained. My lord My Lord Same with these. But that's after we've dealt with this first. Who should make this attack? You or, or him? I think he should make the attack because you've got a lot of the cavalry. And you'll be able to hold the line while we're waiting for them to show up. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, um... Actually, no, the cavalry will be coming in first. 
So you can bring it in as much as you want. Yes, Dragon. My lord? Orders? Orders? My lord? Hang on, we need to move some of these guys around yes, a little bit. Strategos. Oh, those are mercenaries, right? Yes, Strategos. Orders? 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 So some of these units need to be retrained. Okay. So, yes, Strategos. Yes, Strategos. I'd like to get these guys retrained, but I'd. I'd can't find a place to do so, so I'm just going to merge them. Orders, two, sir. three, four, Orders, five, my lord, six, sir. seven, eight. Sir. Sir. They can be retrained here, so I need to keep them there. Orders. Yeah, I'll take them with us sir. as well. Make the attack. attack. Alright, so what we do on this battle is we set up our line in a defensive position where you have to wait for the cavalry to, to come in from their rear and fuck them and in the look, ass. This is a fine day. Okay, so we've got a high ground here that we can make use of. Let's do so. Spread out wide. Okay, and then to stay here on this flank Oh, motherfucker. Alexander's not showing up right away. We need to lose some units. If we just take a few guys off the battlefield, they'll show up. Alright, who should we get to leave? Well, you're not really going to be useful. You can leave. He's going to come in right from there. That's not going to be good. Because I won't have any time to set up, it'll just be balls of the wall if I can go straight for them. Well, actually, he'll be coming from over here, but still, look at their corner camping, that's not good. Let's try and get them to stop corner camping by sort of like weeding them out from this spot here. In fact, our guys here, they're, if they're just going to sit there, this is not good for pikemen. We need them to come to us. Alright, I might need this guy here to leave the battlefield. Uh, it's, it's a stupid thing to do, just... Hold on, I'd rather them die actually. Like, it doesn't really matter how many of these guys here die. So send them up first to soak up ammunition from the um, from the enemy archers. shooting. Surely they'd be in range. I don't know why they're not shooting, but it suits us. Let's we'll get into combat and start getting some kills, and then our reinforcements will show up. The problem here is that while they're corner camping, it's going to be very hard to run them down. Weed them out, try and get them in the center of the map. This is not this is not the way I wanted to fight this. I thought they'd come straight for us, because look at it. Why be passive when you've got the advantage? Okay, you 
you stay put now. Okay, need you to come over here, because their morale will not hold otherwise. to fight this heart in the enemy okay you need to improve their morale okay then the cavalry they're gonna come through here and hit them in the rear sneak in through here get rid of these mighty and archers okay we're in we're in let's go over there first Holding the line, that's good. Hang on, look, look, we've gotten right around them here. This could actually work out better than I had hoped. Get in over here. Don't worry about them. Don't let them get away. Guys here taking damage. Can you get in there as well? Just don't die on me. Oh, we fucking killed our own guys. The gods have filled the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a cow. Just avoid the south chariots. How are we going? 59%. Gotta get 85%. Right. The enemy general is slain, really and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Now they're cut off. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them. Drive them from the battlefield. Good, 85% there. Get wrecked. How do we go for percentages? 5%. That could have gone really badly, but everything just worked out nicely. I don't know why they didn't utilize their archers. They could have absolutely wrecked my infantry as I was coming in. Nope, they decided to be stupid on that one. Probably mourning the loss of Darius. Although they don't really do that. Alright, we're done here. Killing more is just no point. This is a hero Victory and honor. Okay, so C no. Public order's fine. Okay. My lord, sir. Sir, yes, Stratigos. Okay, we can retrain these guys here as well. I can get these guys back over here. I don't know how to do it. Um, now, should we send these guys back for retraining? To do that, uh, it doesn't matter. Best just move, move forward. All right, what can we build? Oh man, we're out of money. Yeah, I'm gonna get more allied. Oh, hang on, we're, we're, fuck me, we're out of cash. I may need to destroy something. Ships ready. The Persian fleet's on its way. But there's no armies on the fleet, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright, there's still still an army, big army here. It's not gonna show an update for their military forces. Just based on that, but I expect it to be somewhere in the vicinity of there, because they lost a lot just then.
What to recruit? See, if I retrain all these guys, I can't even do that. Alright, I'm gonna have to do something I really wish I didn't have to, but um, I need the money. And that's it, just wasn't an important building. Just get the peasants going on over there. Oh, that's right, I was supposed to drag them. These guys will never make it back to the fight now. Oh shit. Doesn't matter. Um, two peasants should maintain public order there. Don't worry about building anything. Yeah, peasants. We're not going to be recruiting from here anymore because we're just moving, moving east. Okay, now I've got enough money to get these troops in order. Never should have built that building in the first place. Probably lost a little bit of cash on that. Um, what are we going to do here? My lord. We're going to take the generals out, put them... Oh, I see, you're out of movement. You just come and stand here. And these two, come stand over here. Okay, bring the cavalry here. I mean, they can't be retrained, but this is this is the way we're going anyway. Leaving the army, sir. Ah, oh, motherfucking idiot. Okay, it's okay. I can make sir. this work still. My lord, sir. My lord. Orders, yes, Stratigos. Orders. Okay, you get in there. Leaving the army. Orders. Then we go like this. Forward. Ah, it didn't fully work. Forward. Still no move them, move, move them a little bit. I guess it's close to the, the port. That's fine. My lord. Sir. Yes. Stratigos. So we're gonna have the cavalry up front. Um. Yeah, you can stand here. Leaving. Army, forward. Yes, Forward. No more moves. Sir. And you can come stand here. Alright, cool. Moves, that worked sir. out. So you're gonna need to be retrained, all of these. My lord? I mean, yes, you can still Stratigos. get in here. Leaving the army. Be retrained. What about you? No, that's fine. Yes, oh, I should have put him yes, in there, they need Stratigos. retraining. So I can retrain all of these. And get some more allied cavalry. I just don't think they're going to be that useful in the coming fo uh, coming fights. My lord. My lord. And financially, yeah, we're making a bit of profit. So now we make our way down to Tyre. Actually, we'll, we'll split our forces up. Someone needs to head over to Amida. We'll see how that goes. Build that just because public order is important. I mean, we can always just lower the taxes at Sparta. Is that supposed to be Cyprus? Um, so how many settlements are we on now? We've got we've got eight regions. We need to hold thirty, so we've still got twenty-two to go. But we're making pretty good time. Not really historic time, I think. I mean, he's twenty-two years old. I don't know what. How old was he when? The thing is, Darius died at, all the way at, like, at, at Bactria. After multiple defeats, we got him in the first try. Ready to sail. They're going to come over to us, so we need to ready stay to away sail. from that. Ships ready. Set sail. Set sail. No more moves. I mean, if I was to disband these troops, I'd have a bit more money, but I don't know. My Better to have them and not need yes, them than to need them and horse. not have them. Orders. Can hire them next turn if we really want to, but then actually I have an idea. If I was to send a step horseman out to here, we could use the movement bug to help us push even further. Look, it's not a blitz camp now. We don't need to do that shit. Let's move on. So 
So our cavalry here are in much better shape now. Excellent. Financially, yeah, we didn't, we didn't really make any money. So they didn't make the attack on the fort there. Yes. Probably for the best. Whoever we send down here is going to be responsible for taking out um, all of this. How many settlements are there? I think there's only two. I don't think they have Egyptian culture, it's just Eastern. There's no Pharos of Alexandria, obviously, because it's not built yet. And then I think there's another one over here. Let's see, that's Libya. Then, what settlement is this called again? Yeah, that's just in. What was it? Egypt, right? Yep. And this one over here, Egypt. Wait, what? Libya. No, no, no. There are no settlements out this way. Well, we'll know as soon as we capture it. So we send them down there to capture that, and they need to catch back up. So we should leave units over... Oh, I don't know. I'll figure that out. So who's going to go east? Who's going south? That's what we need to decide. But we're going to need a big force to take this out. So the cavalry are going to have to go down that way. So I think the smaller force is going to have to go this way. I mean, we can split them off from here as well. Because someone needs to go down into Arabia. So you'll need to go and have a look for finding the... Okay, Petra. Small settlement. Doesn't need a full stack to deal with that. But we'll need a full stack to deal with this. What I'm thinking is just go and besiege this... Now we can go out and fight it out in the field. We'd be fine. We've got all the cavalry we need. Okay, let's prepare a boat. Okay, so... Who's going to do what? I'm going to send you... out here with a small force... to go and capture that. My lord! Some units will be left behind here to be retrained. These will be left behind to be retrained, yep. The army, my lord. This one will be left behind to be retrained. Same with this. Yes, I'm sending these three. Sir. What is orders? Sir. Sir. Come stand out here. Just so he can get catch up to you. Okay. I mean, he'll be able to do that with what he's got there, but we should send a few more troops anyway. What else do we need? You want some javelin men? Could help with the siege. No more moves, sir. Orders, my lord. My lord. Okay, Alexander gets the rest of this stuff for the time being. Alright, yes, now, My Lord. we move this down here. They're all coming down here, down south, along with My all Lord. the cavalry. Sir. Except for this one, of My course. Lord. My Lord. I've got no fucking money. My Lord. I'm going to have to actually destroy some buildings in order to, to make money to, to re retrain them. I wonder if we should just come down to Tyre and besiege it and just be like, if he wants to attack us during the end turn, you go right ahead, because that might actually be better for us if we fight these guys out in the field, as opposed to assaulting the settlement, which would be a bit of a drag with pikemen. It's just a minor city, so just stables. I'll be able to get some light cavalry from that, militia barracks. I'll be able to get some um, high pass pists. And Javelin member, they can be retrained here. It's not urgent to do them this turn. My lord. Yes. How many units do we need? Seven. One, My lord. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we've got more than we need here. Sir. Alright, so you can have these as well. Move out! Orders! My lord! Orders, ready to sail! 
So what are we taking? We've got eight here. One of these need to be left behind. I'll leave this unit here behind. I'm not going to retrain it here, but we can send it over here for retraining later. Can't see any other armies out here. They'll either attack us or they won't. I kind of hope they do. But what if they don't? What if they come up here and besiege the fort? Well then, we'll just have to we'll just have to play it by ear. And then send them in. So mercenaries available. There's some some cavalry. Eastern mercenaries are trash. Okay. Now we need to deal with this. I don't see the need to spam another general. So not here anyway. If I was going to do it, do it out out this way. You command. Which one? I'm not sallying yet, we're gonna go and fight them out in the field. Alright, you stay here and attack. Let's do this. Shouldn't be too difficult, we've got cavalry superiority, we've got all kinds of superiority, except for archer superiority, we don't have that, but we'll be fine. As long as we're aggressive, we'll be fine. How many of us who look up Right, just stand back for the time being, wait for our reinforcements to show up. Reinforcements have arrived, but are they in time to take part in the battle? They're in time, they're not coming straight for us. Um, you can lead the battlefield, we're not using you. Okay, get over here. Skirmish mode, because if you get caught by anything, you're dead anyway. Oh, they they're just leaving. Why even bother coming to the battlefield? Problem is now we're stuck with this guy here. Well, what we can do is just use him to attack it. He should just walk away. Okay, that's fine. Just get out of my damn way. Alright. Now, we need to go and find... ...their settlement. Just follow the road is probably the best option. I mean, they've got some guys out here. Hmm. How strong is Scythia? Well, Illyria's gone. Thrace is gone. They're almost as strong as us. Their military ranking surprisingly high. Then again, our military ranking is not that high. It's just that we've absolutely crushed the Persians. But he's, he doesn't have all the best units. That's the problem. I'd like to hire these step horsemen, but yeah, the problem is that I just don't know what to ex. Well, we'll find. We just don't have enough money. Um, Sir. Yes, should we put some more pikes in here, or just go in with this? Just go yes, in with this. If they if they come down here, we'll have time to recruit some more troops. Forward. Moves depleted, sir. He's not going anywhere. I don't know what to expect from him. Hopefully they just move east, defend against us, or just fucking die out there. Oh, we've got more troops My out Lord. here. No Alright, cool. My Lord. Okay, we're ready to enter, and I really do hope they fight us. 
Okay, what are we gonna do with this this stuff here? Well, we haven't had enough money to retrain that. That's important to do. Or, well, here's the thing. We could retrain it or we, we could recruit another unit. I think it's more important that we recruit another unit. They're fine. Can't get them too expensive. Once we exterminate Tyre, that'll give us some more money. These guys here need to be retrained. Ready to sail. Where'd, the, where'd the Persian fleet go? Oh, they came back down this way. Okay, good. Because what I want to do is eventually send these guys as reinforcements to, to here. Eventually. Set sail. And then help them get around this way. Maybe. Alright, let's move on. Well, we don't have any more, don't have any more use for it, but that's annoying. Oh, a couple of won. That's lucky. Oh, we're not going to win again though. Our ships are under attack. Disengage. Moves depleted, sir. Okay, so this guy here is going to show up wherever Parmenion is, but it, since um, oh, they didn't attack us. Well, we could kill that and then come over here, maybe. It's not what I wanted to do though. We have to switch a capital. Oh, he came down this way. Where is he going? Because otherwise he's just going to go to Pella. We don't want that. Completely out of money. Okay, we can't have that. Let's try and centralize everything at Halicarnassus. Lower the taxes there. How are we going financially? I mean, I know we're hemorrhaging cash, but. I don't know. I feel like these guys okay. could win against that, but it all depends on what this unit here is. If we attack him again, he may withdraw, he may not. Hard to tell. Got no money. Here's what we do. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I was going to send a cavalry to go and assist with this. Oh, it looks like he's old, but he's not. He's only 20. So, what have they got here? I mean, they can't afford to recruit troops, so that's to be expected. Prepare for battle. Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. So, was it just a general in there? Yeah. Okay, that should be easy enough. I mean, they're chariot generals, so they're... Yeah, they fire back. But if we just, like, put that up front, and just soak up with ammunition, that'll be fine. Another army over here. Someone's going to have to deal with that. So let's have a look at the um, how the Persian standings are. Man, they got fucked up last time. But how come I didn't actually account for it? Because we killed Darius's. Oh no, we didn't. That was the time before. We didn't actually do any damage to the Persians this, this um, that last turn. All right, let's. Um, I want to fight this, but at the same time, I know that whatever unit this is here could be a big problem for me. Fuck it. Attack! Okay, it's not. There's the uh, the only way they can win this is if they rout us, and as long as we form a pike box, they can't beat us. They have no javelins. They can't get through our front. Today we look for a right unit. So yeah, make sure we go wide. Don't need to go into loose formation. We just need to make sure we match their line. Fuck, you really don't need to do that, you know. Another thing is if he dies, off very odd chance if that happens, but if he does, our forces will rout. So it might be a good idea to actually put him in reserve. 
I said, if, if he dies, we lose. This is an unnecessary risk. We can use him to protect this gap. Shit, 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 shit stop. We're coming in properly. We can take our time with this. See, they're shaking. That's a big problem. chance. No. Alright, let's firstly just take out the, uh, the peasants here. Because that just reduces their numbers, hopefully making us less shaken. See, they're feeling a little bit better from that. Good, it's working. Tired than you. Piece of shit, pikes. How were they able to run them down? Oh, whatever. It's making them tired. It's okay if they run them off the battlefield. I mean, we still got more troops in them. Damn cowards. Quick, run men, we lost one man. Okay, no, they're coming back. Quickly turn around, quick. Mike's down, go now. Totally missed the opportunity there. Fuck faces. Move forward. Those guys deserve to die. After the battle, I decimate them for, for their cowardice. It's their own damn fault. I mean, they would have won. And then they, uh, they're just cowards. Oh well. Like I said, I'm not the best with pikes. Oh, Legend, why do you let yourself get flanked? Well, I didn't let that happen. I just missed it. That's all. It wasn't intentional. Where they let themselves get flanked. Answer me that. Nobody lets themselves get flanked. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it is beyond belief. Men running away at fucking one loss. It's typical. I mean, they are just, you know, trashy hot points, but still. Okay, look, they're just fresh and they're tired. Run them down. And now they free. The thing is, them running all those guys down allowed us to uh, wipe them out. We, just, we got a heroic victory, so it's fine. Glorious victory! For death! 
All right, cool. We just hit an hour and a half there, so it's a good opportunity to end the episode. All right, so things are looking pretty good. I mean, we've conquered Anatolia. We've got an army causing havoc down this way. There's pretty... It's, there's not a whole lot out this way. But I anticipate there's probably still got about five of these full-stack armies. But as long as we've got good cavalry, we can wipe them out. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 3 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.